Hello everyone, how you doing? The name is Cat Dad Things, and today I have a quick one for you. I've been wondering for a while, is there a difference in drops and loot at least with a 7.1 map and 8.0 map, or 7.2, 8.1, 8 you know, the, the equivalents basically. There's many ways to cut this cake, but I decided to start with just nice flat 8 equivalent maps to see is there really a difference because in the 7.1 you have tier 7 mobs but they get buffed accordingly and then same thing with the 8.0 maps. They should equal the same amount of fame, difficulty, so on and so forth. At least that's the theory. So with the loot I was wondering is there a way that you actually can get better loot with like a 7.1 because it's a 0.1 tier as opposed to the 8.0. So I only did 15 dungeons of each. It's a smaller sample size but enough so that you can really get a feel for it. So I'll show you the build that I used. It's nothing special, nothing fancy. This is more just to showcase if there's a difference with the maps, price of the maps, and of course at the end we'll see what the loot is. Ah uh, yes, welcome to my kingdom. Honestly, as a side note, real quick, we haven't had much done with our islands at all. Like, there hasn't been much development for anything from SBI, and le leave it in the comments if you think that we should do something about these islands. Like, I'm trying to get some, some drumming up something on Reddit, I think, about making another post soon, because I really would like more player housing, something like that. Something to do with these stupid islands besides the same laborers and the same things that we've had this entire time. I think it'd be nice. Just a little update on that. But anyway... We are, now, we are now going to get into the build. So it's nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Again, here on this channel, we like to promote casual gameplay. If you want to get sweaty, yeah, we've got some stuff for that. But if it's not always about being sweaty. Pick a build that you enjoy, that you're not going to get burnt out on and hate yourself for doing after a while. So I went with something simple. I was faming up the set. I went for a basic spear build. I had the spear, you know, Q1 and W1, E, obviously, and then some life leech, which actually comes in pretty nicely. It helps with boss fights. I went for the mage cow, you need to get the poison, extra damage, cleric robe, same thing. Um, I use, because I don't use soup, instead I'll use this in between my fights, um, aggression, you get more damage. I just prefer to have this food buff on instead of using like a soup, so that way I can just stop and use this, because this doesn't really help you in fights, I mean it can kind of help you in the boss fight, but if you need it, then you're probably in a bigger trouble. So I just kind of stick with this. Anyway, for the boots, any leather boot works, honestly. I just wanted the damage buff and the refreshing sprint. That, that's the only reason I used it. So for spear, uh, make it a little cheaper. I did go for the Elder Torch. You more auto attacks, auto attack speed, which helps this out a lot, actually. And it's spears, you know. Auto attacks work great on spears. Deferred Cape, obvious, helps with add clear. And then I wasn't trying to like break the bank and see how much fame I could get, so I went for a regular bag. I did use the Ar Mastered Armored Horse, however, because there are a lot of gankers when you try to do this content, because people know. People know lots of people want to pop mats maps in the black zone, so this actually comes in pretty handy. You know, it's not a T3 banger, so you're not going to get dismounted when someone sneezes on you, but you have decent gallop speed, uh, only three seconds for your gallop, and you get armor, magic resistance, and uh, CC resistance also, which which actually helps quite a bit. It got me out of a few uh, sticky situations. I go healing pot, just in case uh, boss is giving me trouble. I had them fall back. I never really used them. And then, of course, again, stews, because I like the extra deeps. And that's basically the whole build. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and other content as well. Again, leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to see other stuff. Or if you really think there should be more stuff going on, not that, with our islands. Because, like, like, I want more stuff. And I think it's totally doable. SBI should get on that. Anyway, moving on. Ah, uh, yes, a Saturday morning. It is scammers scamming in the markets and, of course, tons of people here. So let's take a look at the maps really quick. So if you want to get to it quick, just type in solo. Boom, bam, there they are. So let's take a look at first um, the 7.1s. Here we go. This is about the same price I bought them for. Because by the time if you try to do this, the price might change again. But 80K. 80K map. So you times that by 15. Let's just check this out. 15. Yikes, 1.2 mil. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I mean, for the potential of a lot of fame and silver, obviously. So 1.2 mil, not changing that. We'll go now to an 8.0. And it's, at the time I bought them, they were 50K. So these even dropped a little bit. So you're saving a little silver then. So we go here, type in 15. So there's a huge difference, about 500,000 silver difference, which could mean the difference between having more maps. Also, when you are trying to go out into these zones, you go into the black zone, people, again, they're aware of what you're trying to do. You can actually lose maps because they will just be kind of hugging these areas and there'll be times where you go and it's just not worth it because they have gank squad, whatever, they're ready for you. So you just kind of lose money. But 
yeah those are the prices for the maps and now let's take a look at the loots so here we are in the bank side of things and for you lovely lovely people out there i invested my own silver just for you so i could have two more tabs of the 8.0 and 7.1 maps let's start with the 8.0 nothing too crazy here we got 2.1 million and just the drops alone some tones of insight you know whatever that's not really what we're doing in this video some adept tones of insight which you can use or sell you know they do boost the profits a little bit but never neglect the bags of silver obviously if you add this with all these bags of silver it's about three million to sixty thousand silver not bad especially considering you're just popping maps you're getting fame and you're getting the, the the favor stuff also but it is a profit you have to minus and subtract the cost of the maps of course but doing just eight point maps it is a profit now we'll go to the 7.1 we did get a lot more silver just from raw drops alone. And again, if you total in the bags of silver, this comes in at 4,638,000 silver. So you are making more, but there's also a 500K discrepancy between the two in cost of maps. So if you minus that, you're only looking at about maybe an additional million silver and some change over the 8.0 maps. Um, is this sample size enough to know like, oh yes, it's better to go 7.1. I'm not entirely sure and I really don't care because I just want to do this little video and, and you make the decision yourself. Here's the data, make it yourself. I did notice one major difference between the two and the 8.0 loot. Yeah, you got some, you got a lot of, of just basic drops basically. Maybe this one kind of a heavy hitter, not so much, but just a lot of solid drops. Whereas in the 7.1 map, you uh, these are the only ones where I got some real heavy hitters. I mean this, 730k, this one, 632k, this map, 320k. I didn't really get that in 8.0 maps. Is that RNG? Eh, I don't know. Again, here's the data. You decide. You go do with it. Be the beautiful butterfly that you are. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.